Metro Home Building Center in Vance. Early on here, it's the night of the long shot. Some nice payouts so far tonight. Oh, it is so for the long shot players, Peter. They're lining up here in the fourth, and Nicole Reeves is a rail bird with us tonight. Going to celebrate a birthday on Monday, so we'll take the early birthday greeting. She's about to watch some old-time racing. Oh, way back when we used to do the trotters taking on the pacers. Oh, and we're doing it tonight at Charlottetown. Fourth race, post time. There they go. They're up and racing, led out by Rising Fella. Zambuki Gas fired out to be second. Rolock Hanover third into the turn. At the rail fourth, that's Johnny Moe. The trotter moving into fifth. That's Neil. On the turn in sixth, Sandy Nista. And the trailer is Silver Hill King. They're going to the opening quarter. Rising Fella for Kenny Murphy. Right on the engine. Right there for a two-hole ride. That's the veteran. Zambuki Gas. Well back into third is Rolock. Hanover, Johnny Moe with work to do fourth. Fifth is Neil, now racing from sixth. That's Sandy Nista and the trailer to the outside. Silver Hill King is seventh and opening quarters up. 29 seconds flat was the time. Rising fella fired up for Murphy. Racing up second, Zambuka Gas. Continuing to gap third, Rolla Canover. There goes Johnny Moe, tipping to the outside fourth. Fifth along the rail, that's Sandy Nista. Moving to the outside, six is Neil. Now the trailer is Silver Hill King. They were halfway home, led by Rising fella. And he's sitting up, 58 Four! Johnny Moe matching strides. Zambuka Gas now third, racing fourth. As they go out of the turn is Rolock Hanover. Fifth up the rail is Sandy Nista. Then a racing six, Neil. And the trailer, Silver Hill King. They're over to three quarters and a new leader. And that leader's Johnny Moe. Zambuka Gas coming on to take second. Rising fella now a winded third. Coming fourth on the outside is his stable mate, Rolock Hanover. Three quarters up in one, 29 and one, and Johnny Moe turning for home. Zambuka Gas second, Rolock Hanover third, coming late for Sandy Nisa, but it may be too late, but he is coming. Oh, wow, it's not too late. He got there. Wow, what a stretch drive. Sandy Nisa McPherson nail it on the line. Johnny Moe second, tight for third, one. 59 and 2. Well, good look at the replay here uh, for uh, race number four, but did Sandy needs to come out of the clouds in this one uh, to win for Corey McPherson or what? 6.30 is going to be the win ticket, but let's talk you through the race here as we uh, see the replay here in mid-stretch here for uh, race number four tonight. Rising fall, a busted off the gate here for Kenny Murphy. They cut some uh, quick opening fractions, 29 down to the quarter, 58 and four. They were going a little bit towards the half, and then first up came Johnny Moe. He was able to clear uh, just towards the half, and then he sailed up to the three quarters in 129 and one. As he turned for home he looked to have the race in hand but coming out of the clouds you can see here now is the seven sandinista and gonna reach up right at the wire to nail the one Corey mcpherson and sandinista win it over johnny moe who was second zambuka zambuka gas hangs on for third we're looking at a seven one five try in the fourth
This horse wasn't having much luck in Quebec, but wow, is he like the island air, and he is visiting the Charlottetown Winner's Circle, speaking of Sandy Nista here in the fourth, pacing Brown Stallion 5 by Santana Blue Chip off the Western Hanover Dam final duel. Owned and trained by Claire Sweet of Valeri in the hands of Corey McPherson. He paces to a new race winner record tonight of 159 two fifths. Sandy Nista scoops them in the fourth. 